Welcome back to the Academic Writer Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add references to your paper. There are three ways to add references in Academic Writer. So in the body of your paper, if you scroll down the page, you click on Add New Reference. The first way to add a reference is to type something in the basic search and match the, the research article that you're looking at. You can enter the author's last name, you can enter the article title, you can enter a couple of words from the title if it's a long title, and click on search. Academic Writer has over 90,000 titles with reference information listed. It does not contain the text to these articles, just the information. So if you've already found your article, type something into the search, Scroll down your result list, and if you find your article, I'm going to say this is the one that I'm, I'm using, click the box in front of it, and click on Add to Paper. Now the green box came on to tell us that it's saved this change to our paper, and if we go back to the left menu and click on Body, scroll down again, here's our first reference. So that's the easiest way to get a reference in there. When you click on Add New Reference, you use the search box, you find an exact match, you click it into your paper. Now we'll look at the second way. When you click on Add New Reference, after you've tried to search, if you do not find your article after the search, you need to come to this button on the right and click on Create Reference. The drop-down asks you if you're sure you want to leave this part of the resource. It's taking you away from the orange right tab where we began into the green reference tab. And we're going to look at how we create a reference. You need to look at this list and find the type of reference that you used. Journal article is the first one because that's most common when you're doing research. But you'll see that you have choice to do YouTube videos, there's web pages, blog posts, manuscripts, lots of choices. Find the one that matches your resource and click on it. Each one of these, when you choose it, will bring you to a template and it will prompt you for the information it needs. If your article has no author listed, you'll hit this drop down, click on no author, and now the rest of that box has disappeared. Because it's more common, I'm putting it back to author name available. You'd fill in the author's name. Notice it prompted us for the entire last name, but for first name, it's just looking for an initial. And after you enter that information, click on Save and Format and say OK to that little drop down. If your article has more than one author, you need to enter each name one at a time. And you'll notice that as you do that, the list of authors fills in on the right. You'll always need to put a year of publication. And you'll need to put in an article title. This is an article that I've been using for my demonstrations. When you type in the article title, you then need to click on Format in Sentence Case. In APA formatting, typically only the first letter of the first word will be capitalized. But notice what happened when it changed my title. And there is a little red note here warning you to pay attention in case you had any proper nouns or any acronyms in your title, you will have to go back in and correct those now. Because Academic Writer, like all pieces of software, is only as smart as the programming behind it, and it doesn't recognize everything perfectly. So if you have a name of a person or a place, or you have letters like APA, you need to correct them. So U.S. For United States has to remain capital. 
international should not be capital. The resource mistook the period after the S as the end of a sentence and was capitalizing the next letter. So now my title is completely correct. You always need to write the name of the journal that you found your information in. The volume number. If you have trouble seeing that on your reference, contact the library. We can help you. And then the page numbers for your article. If you used an online resource, you do need to fill the URL in here. Or if your article had a DOI number, click the radio button and fill in the DOI. You never need to fill in the abstract or the notes. So once you've done that part of the template, click on Add to My References. It's showing me now what my reference is going to look like. And because I've, I've done this before, it's asking me if I want to add one of these. And I'm saying no, just continue adding my reference. Now if I come back to the Write tab, I go to my saved paper. Remember the paper you're working on will always appear at the top of the list. And now I need to scroll down. I click on Add New Reference again, but this time it will find the reference I made right away. I'm searching for the author. I click Add to my paper. I might come back and click on the body of the paper and scroll down see that our two references are here. The third way to add a reference to the paper is to import it and you use that only if you've found information in the library databases. We're going to show you that in two separate videos, one for each type of information you might find in our databases. So if you need that information, be sure to watch those. If not, thank you for watching this one.